Hey guys, Repairman here, and today we have a bulk storage unit. This thing is tiny, only two blocks wide, and very little resources. Uh, you're going to need these supplies here. I'll put them all in a chest where you can see. As you see, we're at the bare minimum, we're going to need one torch, three redstone dust, a redstone block, comparator, repeater, sticky piston, right half slab of your choice, whatever type. A dispenser, not a dropper, but a dispenser. Um, at least one hopper, at bare minimum, just so you can pull items out of the shocker box, but you'll probably want more. And six stone, might need more, but that's bare minimum. And at least one chest, again, you're probably going to want more. And one soul stand, you only need one, at least if you're only building one of these bulk storage units. Alright, so let's get started here. Uh, you know what? Oops, do that later. All right, so uh, let's start off by uh, you know, we'll say you're building into the ground or sir, up above the ground somewhere. Starting here. All right, sit. All right, so there's your shock box location where you want it to be dispensed and unloaded. We're gonna go up a couple blocks. One more. So two spaces, and you're going to put a sticky piston facing down into there, and then put your half slab on the bottom of that. All right, good. We're done with the uh, half slab and the sticky piston. Grab your torch and that. All right, so now you're going to want to go and go over here. You'll put a block and a block over like this with a comparator coming out like that. And we're going to need a block in front of it like that. Put dust on that. So we need a block there, block there, dust on that, and a repeater going into the piston, triggering that to crush the said shock box. Now we need to also go and make sure this comparator doesn't trigger until that's full of the brim. So how we're going to do that is we're going to put a redstone block there next to it. I mean, you could go and put redstone block and dust on top of it, but, you know, that's pointless. Why would you do that? You can just put it right next to it. One less thing to have a light update and uh, less resources. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. All right. Now, to actually uh, get our shock boxes to be placed here on a regular basis, we're going to need a torch there. I need a block of choice here. Dust. And then we're going to go ahead and break that. Here's where our dispenser comes into place, putting that there. Now, if uh, and we're going to need a um, soul sand right there for it to be dispensed on top of. Mainly because when it gets crushed, the items will partially get sucked up into there. And when you have your hopper under here, it'll be able to suck them through. And you don't have to make some elaborate, crazy system that powers that or more pistons just one piston just to crush it that's it nothing to turn on and off the hopper so less hag lag for that so that's always a good thing all right so oh and you're probably going to want to throw uh you know throw a chest in there probably be helpful so let's go throw that there and uh i've already pre-filled a bunch of shaka boxes for us so we literally just go in here, throw them all in there. Um, to get this started, you can either power, um, take the dust away, and place it back down. Of course, now I gotta pick block that. Place back down, boom, dispense another one. You could also go and, you know, stick a lever somewhere and flip the lever. Um, but yeah, you don't have to. All right, so now if I go and throw, uh, oh, I mean, you can manually throw the items in there have that exposed and because it's half slab not only does it not spit it from side to side and all over the place and you have to block it in and craziness like that but you can actually open it to see where it's at so you can see how it's progressing so it's a double win there all right now if you're going to want to actually pipe something in there say like you know uh, you're going to want to do um, a sorter in here or something you're going to need to put a hopper going into here. For now, you know, we'll just go and put a hopper here just so you can see how it functions. And, I mean, there's plenty of... Everyone pretty much knows how to do a sorter. 
that goes into here. Um, just make sure you use it being the three dust design. Um, yeah, might as well you know show you real quick just so you know so you're not if you're not sure you're gonna have a hopper pointing in any which direction but down not you don't you don't want to actually I take that you don't want it pointing sideways uh, into another hopper just in case you know just if you decide to have two that are of the same material um, one doesn't feed into the other then because um, you want to increase the storage by having multiple chests that they can access. I like this one has multiple here, and then you want the um, a hopper pointing down. This block is powered by torches that you know disappeared, I guess, or I forgot to place them. Uh, I was showing this for a demo of, for, to someone, so I probably just didn't put torches or forgot. But yeah, you're gonna have comparator dust, 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 three dust. Always, always, always use a three dust design unless they're not touching each other. You always want to do a three dust design. If there's space in between the sorters, which clearly there's there's no space between these sorters, then uh, you know it's okay to use a two dust design then because it can't overfill and go into the next sorter. And then uh, you know when this block is powered here, comparator or repeater turns on, turning off the torch there, allowing items to be pulled down into that chest. Um, or in this case, that would point into the shaka box instead of the chest. Uh, yeah, so that would just slap that on the uh, the side of that there. And you can actually put, you know, two hoppers, have two different sorters uh, to speed that up if you happen to need that kind of thing. If you're doing like a super speed dropper elevator with two hoppers feeding into it. And of course, one sorter won't be able to keep up with that demand, so you'd need two in order to keep up with that demand and fill this up twice as fast. All right, so let's go for t showing you how it works. So I filled it up with all but half a stack. So you can see, as soon as it gets to halfway through that stack, it'll crush it and dispense another shaka box. Boom, just like that. Now, you know, if you wanted to manually trigger that to action, you could also put a switch here. Manually flick it, it's going to crush it, and then as soon as you let that go, it's going to dispense a new one. You know, if you wanted that, but I don't see why you would, but yeah, everyone's got a different design for things. Well, hope that was helpful. I uh, don't need that block. Um, if you want other designs or explanation of some project I have, of lots of different projects that do all kinds of different things from display boards, dual blast chamber TNT auto cobble farms, uh, I got a few different designs of rail systems, lava water sorter, carpet factory, lag machine for testing projects before we bring them into survival, make sure they're able to pass the lag test, we turn that on which automatically turns on and off the portals, our non-stackable sorter, um, got a few other things you know we got the super furnace within a furnace block uh, TNT haven't decided what we're gonna do in there yet but uh, yeah I've got a few different ideas might over there we're playing around with project idea of you know replacing the furnace front with um, black concrete powder swapping them up and down but eh, we have to see if we can fit that in there as well with the super furnace already in place but yeah Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hit the like button if you like it. If you want to see some other project, post in the comments below.